five things that will damage your solar generator when we talk about five things that will damage your solar generator we are in turn talking about things that you should do to care for your solar generator number one don't charge your solar generator with your normal generator don't charge solar generator with generator you understand many people even without asking me they will go and charge you know how can you charge big um item like this with <laughs> generator and the weight on itself will even tell you that ah this might not be normal and you consult your your supplier uh, should i do this some people don't even ask how can you charge so and some people the the generator they even use is not even big <laughs> at all you understand but normally you're not supposed to use generator to charge your solar generator anything from 500 watts solar generator and above you're not supposed to use solar generator to you're not supposed to use your normal generator to charge it okay i suppose we all know what is solar generator let's not um, go ahead of ourselves welcome this is benedict electrica in case if you're seeing my face for the first time it's been long we've done this kind of uh, long video youtube video it's been our short short um promotion videos or display of our products and their uh, services so this is benedict electrica and we deal on everything electrical everything solar and electrical products ranging from uh, solar generators solar panels solar batteries solar inverters um solar cctv camera solar floodlight solar um solar um street lamps like this one you are seeing here so everything solar and this is solar floodlights behind me so we deal on everything solar so let's get back to how you care for your solar generator in case if you don't know what is solar generator solar generator are like your big power bank for um, powering your apartment powering your big appliances you understand the way you have power bank for your mobile devices consider solar generator big power bank for bigger appliances in the house you understand so that is your solar generator and as i'm talking I'll be putting it on the screen so that you see I can't be lifting weights here there are many of them here and this is solar generator I can't be you no know, lifting and opening some of this so I'll be putting them on the screen so that you see what I'm talking about so like I said number one don't charge to your solar generator with generator every anything you know the only thing that we recommend that you charge your solar generator with is um solar panel and electricity if you use generator to charge it um it discharges faster number one number two is not healthy for the inverter inside it's not healthy for the inverter inside it will be making it to be running down quick like it has a wrong, long term a negative effect on the inverter inside hope you understand what i'm saying so and uh, let's go to number two number two don't overload your solar generator don't overload your solar generator many people that will give this 500 watts should carry tv for you it should be able to power your speakers your dvd and so so number of bulbs they will not go and use it for fridge you know and um, there are things that there are some things that you do to a generator it, after some time it will recover you know and there is one that it will not recover you you just burn it you understand don't overload your solar generator and don't kind of uh, give it um, um load it to full capacity at the same time if we tell you use one tv one it's not that you cannot carry two tv but that and the um two tv might be full load or overload and if you constantly load the generator to the full all the time you are you know giving it stress you understand you are giving it stress then too much stress is not good for the um life of the generator if if this one is recommended for laptop don't use it on tv if this one is recommended or uh, for free uh, for tv don't use it on fridge if this one is recommended for fridge don't use it on ac so that's how they are step by step hope you understand hope i'm making sense i <laughs> hope i'm making sense so 
Um, number three, please, when you are wiring, wiring your solar generator, don't use normal cables to run the panel, not to the roof. Your panel that goes to the roof, don't use your normal cables. It must be solar cable. It must be solar cable because it's not all the time that we have, um, you know, uh, afterwards inputs in what customers buy. I'm just why I just refer to customers is because I'm talking from my own standpoint. It's not all the time that we know how co customer get to install. We only no get to know how they install most of the time if they are having problem with the installation. And um, especially when uh, uh, it's not a good uh, solar engineer who knows about solar that will install it. And some of them, like the small solar generator, is, is not really something that requires something of uh, much um, expertise. It's something you just plug and take outside and it will be charging. And where the, this thing comes there is maybe they need to extend the cable that comes with it. The roof is too far and all that. And when you, you need to extend cable that comes with it in order to reach where the, you have the solar generator, you now use your normal cable to extend it without asking questions. And maybe it might not really be your fault it might be the person doing the work and you can understand it with normal cables. No. And even the solar cable that you're using to do extension of the um, solar cable that comes with it, because some of them have short cables that come with it, at least seven meters or five meters that you need to extend. So when you need to extend it, some of them requires four mm, some of them requires that you use lesser or even bigger a solar cable so all these things you need to verify it in order to extend your solar cable don't extend with normal wire i had an issue recently and the, the customer was saying that he extended it with a 2.5 mm um, normal cable so don't overload your solar generator and don't load it to 100 percent so like I was saying, you need to find out if it's necessary to extend with 4 mm or lesser or higher um, solar cables. You understand? Some of these things you need to, you know, contact your supplier and see what is you are supposed to go with. This one is very, very important. It's very, very important. And if you have watched up to this place, thank you. It is very important that you hear this. So this is Benedict Electrica. In case you have not subscribed to this channel, I beg you, oh, I thank God, beg you, subscribe. It does not cost you anything. Just click the subscribe button and like this video and so that I'll be able to be making free videos like this. So I've not made a video like this in a long time. So subscribe and like the video and um let's get to the next point so the last point that we'll have here is don't miss different sizes of solar panel for example um, you are using 200 watt solar panel and you needed to get maybe extra one or two according to the instruction given to you by your supplier you want to get extra one you now go and get 300 to make it 500 you understand don't do that if you are using 200 watt solar panel, please buy exactly 200 watt solar panel. If you are using um, 150 watt solar panel, please don't go and buy 200. Buy 150 watt solar panel. You understand? Because all these things help it in the in the in the way it charges. You understand? If you mix it like this, you will have um, it will be dropping current when it's charging. You understand? It will not charge with the speed it's supposed to charge. And like I said, many of these things have adverse effect on the generator. You understand? And it's not like uh, it shows immediately. It might not show immediately, but some of these things, if you don't do them, they have adverse effect on the generator so let's talk about the most popular solar generator that you need you know in your apartment the basic one are for people who are using um who are using laptop maybe you need to run your laptop and uh, 
work at home, you're working in the office and your laptop needs to be on all the time. The basic one that will work for your laptop is um, 300 watts solar generator. 300 watts solar generator. It is basic solar generator you need to run your laptop. You understand? There are many 150 watt solar generator that have the same capacity as the 300 watt solar generator. I think uh, I have a video that made that explanation that shows two different solar generator 300 watts and the 150 watts the same capacity and um, i'm not going to go further on that so if you want to power um your apartment uh, anything that will include you know uh, more bulbs apart from the one that come with the solar generator you want to maybe power your own light led lights in your apartment you better go for 500 watts especially if you want to include television you better go for 500 watts and then um, if you need to power you know more bulbs like more than four bulbs more than five bulbs more than six bulbs maybe eight ten bulbs and uh, your television is not 32 inches maybe it's like 49 55 65 you you are advised to you know with your speakers and dvd decoder you are advised to go for 1000 watt solar generator you understand you are advised to go for 1000 watt solar generator why i advise uh, somebody that has maybe 32 inches or even 40 40 inches you can still use 500 watts but 500 watts they are in two different types you understand there is one that you know can carry even up to 50 65 inches uh, solar generator i'm just using by the brands that we have yeah the hybrid will carry the lesser ones and the uh, and the quasa will carry the you know bigger ones even though two of them are 500 watts hope i'm making sense so these are the few points i thought might help you to care for your solar generator so let me run down what we have said before what we have said before in case if you have forgotten i will first say don't charge your solar generator with generator don't overload your generator don't full load your generator <laughs> and what i mean by that don't load your generator to full capacity each time eh? if all your appliances is um 500 watts then you need to share them share them half half no don't use all of them the same time because at every point in time this one might take more weight than the than it looks there for example when you are starting a refrigerator the refrigerator might take maybe 120 watts 150 watts but the the current that it the energy that it draws when it's starting or when it's going off is much more than that you understand that's why you need to give space in the things you are powering so that anything that meets up to exact amount or even goes overload will damage the inverter in your solar generator hope i'm making sense with that so don't load to full capacity don't overload don't charge with generator charge with your solar panel and electricity you understand and don't mix panels you understand so with these few points of mine i hope i've been able to convince you and not confuse you the things you need to do to care for your solar generator <laughs> so guys i'm going to be dropping them um, you know few things like this um concerning solar and electrical products you know every now and then at least once a week every now and then for you to you know know your solar and electrical products so i'm going to be doing that you know more often now because it is really really needed understand so guys check out all the videos that we have mostly on short videos and uh, connect to our tiktok fast growing page just search benedict electrical follow subscribe to our channel <laughs> please subscribe to our channel 
and uh, like this video and uh, follow us on instagram as well and uh, if you have anything at all if you have anything at all you can send us a message on whatsapp you can comment on this um video share it and uh, we we'll appreciate that so guys watch other videos to see the good things we'll have about solar products and we'll see you in the next video ciao